Thank you for joining me tonight for our Monday Thursday devotional. This is the night in which Jesus shared the Last Supper with his disciples. They gathered around to eat and remember the Passover, the time of liberation where God freed his people from the Egyptian slavery. And after they had eaten, Jesus took a loaf of bread and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to them. He shared with them the ordinary things of life, that piece of bread that they break every Sabbath evening. He shared that piece of bread and asked them when they broke it to remember, to remember him. And he took a cup of wine, wine that they poured at every Sabbath meal, and he blessed it. And he invited them to drink this, and every time they drank it, to remember the new covenant poured out in his blood. This is my body. This is my blood. Those are the words he said at the end of that meal. After they had finished their meal, a dispute arose among them about who was the greatest. They were arguing over who should be in charge. Who should be the one, if Jesus isn't present, you turn to. And he said to them, the kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors but not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest and the leader like the one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. So Jesus invites us to think about greatness in a new way, to think about greatness in the opposite of what we've been told to think. So I invite you to settle in, to take a deep breath. I want you to think about greatness. What does it mean to be great? Now I want you to remember what Jesus says. He turns that whole image on its head. To be great, you must be least. To be great, you must be the youngest. To be great, you must be the servant. Holy One, we invite your presence here with us on this night in which we remember your last meal, the meal that we partake of to this day to remember you, a piece of bread, a sip of wine. And yet those little bits, those everyday, ordinary, common elements of life become something that brings us together. And so God, we ask you to show us how to be and continue to be that community that serves, that community that's, that recognizes that it's more important to be together, to share a meal and laugh and talk, to be with each other and serve each other than it is to be greater than each other and over each other. Remind us when we look at the world and it places us in hierarchies and categories that you came and showed us that there was a different way, a better way that broke down those ladders and barriers, that broke down those divisions and showed us 
that we could be together across all our lines. So God, open our hearts, open our minds, and open our lives that we may break open those barriers. As we pray that prayer, the one closer than our hearts, when you use the language that we first heard it, whether that was English or Latin, Samoan, or Tagali, whatever language, join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.